Hey friends, today we're here at Sapphire Falls to show you around the hotel. We're gonna give you a room tour. We're gonna check out some of the amazing restaurants and talk about why this is the highest rated hotel at Universal, even though it doesn't come with express passes. When you walk into the lobby, you're instantly engulfed with the island theme from the artwork to the music and even the wicker beach ball chandelier above our heads. I don't really know if that's what it's supposed to be, but that's what we're gonna call it. There are a thousand guest rooms here, so it is a rather large resort. And as far as Universal classifies their hotels, it is in a category all of its own. So Sapphire Falls is considered a preferred hotel. So it sits just above the prime value hotels of Cabana Bay and Aventura, but just below the premier resorts like Hard Rock, Royal Pacific, and Portofino Bay. And even though it is not classified as a premier hotel, all of the amenities are equally as nice. The only difference that you're gonna find is that this hotel doesn't come with those express passes, but that's not all bad. That does mean that the rooms are a little bit cheaper. Okay, a little food for thought. You may be thinking, well, the premier hotels are only $100 more, 328 versus 222, that's not that big of a difference. And express passes are really expensive, so the value is there. And yeah, that's true at times. Uh, we have stayed on property a lot at this point. Uh, I mean, we, we used to travel down all the time, and even since we've lived down here, we come over here and get rooms from time to time. The premier hotels very rarely are at that starting price, like that 328, you just don't see that very often. However, here at Sapphire Falls, it's not that odd to see that starting price. A matter of fact, our stay this weekend, um, we got it for below the starting price. Like it, it, it was below the 222, which we got like a Florida resident rate or a UAP discount, but something to think about. Like, yeah, the value's there, but it's gonna be really hard to, to find it at just $100 more. So in the lobby, they have some typical universal things. There's of course a check-in desk. There's a luggage services desk where you can drop off your luggage on your check-in or check-out days if you need to do that. They also have a ticketing counter where you can both purchase and pick up any kind of tickets associated with the park. So that could be annual passes, daytime tickets, Halloween Horror Nights, express passes, you name it. They also have a gift shop so you can pick up your souvenirs here and not have to like lug them back from the parks. But one thing that this hotel has that all of the cheaper ones don't is a concierge desk, which is super convenient. They can help you do things like book dining reservations. They can also help you book spa packages. So in our hotel overview video, we said that there's a spa here. There isn't a spa here but the three premier hotels do have a spa. And if you're staying on site, you can book what, like a spa package at any of those other premier hotels and the concierge can help you do that. <laughs> okay, that was crazy. Uh, so we walked out of the New Dutch Trading Company. We ran over there to get a little snack. So we got to talk about some stuff. And when we walked out, there was a character standing there. It was Master Master Tigress from the Kung Fu Panda movies. Uh, you can tell it's been a while since I've seen them, but I've never seen a character in a hotel lobby. And like we asked uh, the team member that was accompanying, oh, there, she's right there. Uh, we asked the team member and she said that like, it's super rare that characters are in the hotels, but Master, Master Tigress just wanted to come over here today. So uh, that was a special little treat. Anyway, back to the important stuff. We went over to the New Dutch Trading Co. and grabbed a little snack. We got this giant cookie. It's like the size of my face and I'm very excited to try it here in a second. But they have all kinds of food over there. They have like packaged stuff like cookies and crackers and candy bars. They have pre-made sandwiches. You can order hot sandwiches. They have some giant pretzels that are one of our favorite snacks to get here. Uh, but they also have coffee. Uh, and we specifically got coffee because this is the only hotel here at Universal that doesn't serve Starbucks coffee. Feels hot. Um, I am very sensitive to the taste of coffee. I like Starbucks drinks. Could be in the minority here, but I don't like Starbucks coffee. It tastes burnt to me. Um, and when we were talking to the team member, she said this coffee is out of New York and it doesn't taste burnt. So that excited me because a lot of times I just avoid getting coffee from the onsite hotels because I don't like Starbucks coffee. It's coffee. It doesn't taste burnt, but it's just, it's its still just coffee. I'm more of like a DC guy. I like me a Diet Coke. They don't have Diet Dr. Pepper. That's what I'd get, because that's the nectar of the gods, but DC works from time to time. Um, I know I said I avoid getting Starbucks coffee because I don't like their coffee. That's true, 
but also because I have a unhealthy love of Diet Coke. And that's what I drink as my coffee. Here's what I'm really excited about. Got the coffee, got the cookie, dip it. That cookie was delicious, but while we're talking about food, we might as well talk about all the restaurants here at Sapphire Falls. So they do have a restaurant by the pool, like your typical pool bar. We've never personally eaten there, so can't really speak to how it is. But here in the lobby, they have what may be our favorite restaurant at any of the Universal hotels. It's at least in our top two or three, and that's Strongwater Tavern. It's like 15 feet that way. Uh, and we are gonna eat there later tonight. So this is a restaurant that opens for dinner. Uh, it's not open for breakfast or lunch. And you can reserve a table to do like full service, but they also have a walk-up bar where you can get food and drinks and everything like that. But the main restaurant here at Sapphire Falls, it's all the way downstairs on the first floor. And that is the Amatista Cookhouse. So this restaurant is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. During breakfast, it's buffet style. You can order like an individual entree if you want but like all the good stuff is buffet style and then for lunch and dinner it's just your typical table service and it is delicious as well this day just keeps getting better we ran into king julian here in the lobby and uh he said he's going to the pool so i can just imagine him like laying in one of the you know like poolside chairs somebody feeding him grapes fanning him with some palm fronds i bet he's gonna have a wonderful afternoon One of the biggest benefits to staying at this hotel is that boat right behind me. That is the water taxi. The water taxi is the most magical thing at Universal outside of the theme parks. Anyway, it's the most magical thing. Uh, so it's transportation to and from the parks, but it is the best form of transportation. So from any of your on-site hotels, you're gonna have a way to get back and forth to the parks. Uh, you can walk, you can take a bus, or some of the hotels, which is Sapphire Falls and the Premier Hotels have the water taxis. Not only are they the most convenient form of transportation, they're also the most fun form of transportation because it's kind of like a little party. Um, I will never forget, this has been a couple of years ago, we were here for Halloween Horror Nights, we were here with Tyler's brother, we were having a great time. We were super tired as we got onto the water taxi to come back to our hotel at the end of the night. And the boat captain was the most fun person I think I've ever met. Like he was jamming music, we were like swerving the boat to the music, everybody was like dancing and singing along. So like, they're just so much fun. If you have never ridden one of the water taxis, it's worth it to stay at this hotel just so you can ride the water taxi back and forth to the parks. I do think it's important to know that there are also shuttle buses that come to this hotel. So if you, you have an aversion to water or water taxis, you can just take the shuttle bus, which will take you to like the main hub of City Walk. And also there's dedicated walking paths. So you can walk to the parks on beautiful days. You know, it's, it's a fun thing to do. I don't like doing it in the middle of summer because you know, dehydration, heat, heat exhaustion, all those fun things. But yeah, like on nice spring days, it's, it's quite nice. Also, we felt the need to warn you guys, as long as we've been coming here, this door, when you open it, it makes the worst sound ever. Gets me every time. Oh God, I'm out of breath. Just came up those stairs. <clears throat> Poor flights. It's too many, I don't need to know that information, but as we were coming up, um, Tigris, Master Tigris, was getting onto an elevator and it just hit me of how mind blown that would be to just be like let's go to the water taxi and the door open up and tigress is just sitting there staring at you i think one of my favorite things about strong water tavern other than the delicious food is just the ability to sit outside i don't know off the top of my head i can't think of other restaurants at universal where you can sit outside i mean at the hotels I know, i'm sure there are some uh, like, I, I, as a matter of fact, I'm positive there's other ones, but this is the one that always comes to mind. You've got the view of the the, uh, the park right behind you. you got the, the waterfall. You've got all that stuff. And every time I come out here, it just reminds me of spring because I think when we eat here uh, and we eat outside, it's always just like a beautiful spring or early summer day where it's not 9,000 degrees. So, yeah, like I just love being able to sit outside instead of being inside because down here in Florida, you always have some great weather. I shouldn't say always. You have some great weather every once in a while. 
So Strongwater Tavern is primarily a rum bar, and every time we come here, I always have to try a new like rum-based cocktail. They're always so good. I actually asked our waiter for a recommendation this time. I like really sweet, fruity drinks, so he recommended Carol's Punch. It's got cranberry and pineapple juice, lemon and lime juice, and house-made shrubs. If it is half as good as it looks, it's gonna be delicious. This drink is delicious. I definitely see why he recommended this off of like what I said that I liked in drinks. However, I'm not typically a big cranberry fan. I ordered it even though I knew it had a lot of cranberry in there and it does like the cranberry flavor plays really well with the other fruit flavors in there. So it's not like super heavy cranberry and I do like it. Like I am a big fan of this drink. I like, like I said, every time I'm here, I try to order something different. And so this has some type of like banana liqueur in it. I was also a little, afraid that I might taste the banana. It just kind of adds to the sweetness. There's another drink on the menu that has banana liqueur and then habanero in it. I will be getting that next time because I was afraid of that banana stuff, but it's good in here. So hopefully it'll be good in that habanero drink too. The food has arrived and it is gorgeous and looks amazing as always. So we will um, we'll let y'all know how it is. I'm, it's not, it's, it's rude to talk with your mouth full. God, that is so good. This place never disappoints. Uh, so it is a tapas restaurant. So it's like small plates or like appetizer sized portions. So we got the pork belly tacos. We got the chori pan and Tyler got some type of ceviche. I personally am not going to touch the ceviche because that's not my thing. He said it was delicious though. Um, I'm being so serious when I say that those pork belly tacos, I think those are the best tacos I have ever had. Like it was so full. There was so much pork belly. It had so much flavor. It was a little spicy. It had more cilantro than anything I've ever like had before. Like so more cilantro in one dish, but it worked so well. The cheese, the sauce, that was amazing. Like I want to come back weekly just for those tacos and the chori pan. I, oh my gosh. Just yes. Like yes. Yeah. The chori pan was really, really good. So there was something about the subtle sweetness of the tomato like uh, soup is <laughs> all I can say. Like <laughs> that's what I want to say. Like the the tomato soupy thing that was in there that worked with the little char on the bread. It just had like this like perfect balance. And then like Anna said, she's not gonna touch the ceviche, but I love tuna. I love ceviche. It was like the perfect balance of sweet and savory. You can see those big crystals of uh, salt on the tuna. Honestly probably the best meal I've ever had at Universal, like by and large. Those are three things that we had never ordered here. We like to try different things when we go places, but that combo that we just had, especially those tacos, I will give Anna this, one of the best tacos I've ever had, if not the best taco, like insanely good. Pork belly doesn't hurt, but insanely good, such a good meal. But what's crazy is normally our favorite part of the meal is the dessert, and we just ordered a dessert that uh, we've never had before. Yeah. Don't put that I on me. I would suggest either banana bread pudding or the pineapple upside down cake. <laughs> pineapple upside down cake is really, really good. Okay, let's do the banana bread pudding. All right, thank you. Listen, I know you ordered the banana bread pudding for me, but we literally just got a message on Instagram that said, have to get the banana bread pudding at Strongwater. It changed my life. Life changing. Banana bread pudding. I'm sitting here like scraping the plate because I don't want to leave any of it. So good. We've never gotten it before because Anna's not a banana person. So I was very shocked when she ordered it for me. Thank you. Uh, but even she enjoyed it. She just had to avoid the uh, big chunks of banana that were in the bread. That was insane. Life changing? Absolutely. Uh, whoever sent that, you're correct. Uh, absolutely changed my life. But now that we're full, it's only appropriate that we go check into the room uh, and show you guys around. It always feels so awkward when we come and do these hotel room tours because it's just your standard hotel room. Uh, like there's two queen beds, there's a TV, a mini fridge, a desk, a bathroom, like it's just pretty standard. But if you've never been to Sapphire Falls, it is nice to see inside the rooms and get a look at exactly what amenities they do offer and what they don't. So let's go take a look around. 
Every time we do a hotel tour, we get asked about two things, and that is a coffee maker and a mini fridge. And this room has both of those. This isn't like an upgraded room either. So we would assume that all of the rooms at Sapphire Falls offer these. Uh, this is like a little off-brand Keurig that has pods and some little creamer so you can get your coffee fix in the morning. And then also, like I said, it does have a mini fridge, although it is quite mini. Uh, so be prepared if you're thinking about bringing groceries with you. This mirror is the coolest feature in this room by far. Hotel rooms are notoriously dark, like the lighting situation just isn't good. Uh, and if you've ever tried to do your makeup or hair in a dark hotel bathroom, it's terrible. But this mirror has a built-in light that you can change the brightness of. Like, look how bright that gets. Like, that's so much better. You can see your whole face. Make sure your makeup looks good. Make sure your hair looks good. Big fan. All hotel rooms and my personal bathroom need this. Now we're getting in the shower, so prepare for an echo. Uh, you coming? Yeah. Cool. All right. This one has a bench. <laughs> I like benches in the showers. We we really want a shower that's like this size um, with a bench at some point in our house. We have to sit on the ground if we want to sit in our shower. Um, it's just not big enough. I mean, like, it could be a little more roomy. Like, I'm not a, you know. Like, I'm not a small person, but it could be a little more roomy. But if you're by yourself, like, man, it just wasn't in here messing with me. <laughs> Plenty of room. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good shower. Also, like, I, I don't know why I was really old before I realized what this was for. You would see these in, in hotels, and I was always like, what is that? Like, how you start the lawnmower um and it's obviously not for a lawnmower it's like start the shower no it's to hang clothes to hang wet clothes I, I, I learned that like last year um admittedly that's bad but yeah i was i was way too old when i figured out what that was for i always so i was curious like floss dispenser i, I don't know We've been known to test the pillows in our hotel reviews because we are pillow snobs. Uh, so I'm gonna lay down, get like nice and cozy, and then give you a patented Pew 2 pillow test. <laughs> Seven out of 10. And if you've seen a hotel review from us before, you know what it's time for, the good old slap test, uh, to, you know, Everybody knows what the slap test is for. Yep. It's a comfy bed. Like, you just hear it. It's like hitting a watermelon. Like, you know, you slap a watermelon and it sounds a certain way. It's a good watermelon. It's kind of what it is like beds. I actually do like the beds here. Uh, not a little on the soft side as well. I am more of a firmer guy. Could just because I'm a little heavier. So I want to lay down on one. I don't like sinking into it. But yeah, uh, the beds here are like, it, it's kind of weird, right? Like in the hotels, it seems like the beds get more comfy as you go up in price point. I guess that sort of makes sense, but also it's a trend, a bed trend. This hotel is also dog friendly. Um, we were planning on bringing our dog, so Moose and Gino, they've never stayed in a hotel room before, so we were gonna bring them over here tonight. But when we got to check in, um, it is an extra $100 uh, if you do bring your dogs, which we get, it's like a cleaning fee. Our dogs shed like crazy, so we definitely understand that. Uh, but we decided to skip it today. It's like raining outside, it's kind of yucky, so we don't wanna like get the room messy or anything like that. But one of these days, we will bring them over here for a stay, and we'll definitely film it. Now that we've seen the entire hotel, we've eaten dinner, we've done a room tour, we've done and seen it all, we need to talk about who this hotel is perfect for. And there are a couple scenarios. So the first one is somebody who cares about the upgraded hotel experience, but isn't as concerned with riding rides because this hotel doesn't come with the Express Pass like the Premier Hotels do. So the room, all the amenities are equally as nice as the Premier Hotels. And so if you're not concerned with the rides and waiting in line, this hotel hotel is perfect for you. Another scenario is if you're somebody that does care about the rides, but you're coming during a time that's not that busy and you want to save a little bit of money as opposed to staying at the Premier Hotel that gets you that Express Pass, this is another really great option. We love this hotel. It's one of our favorites here on property. And if you're considering it, you should try it. 
Something Anna forgot to mention is this place is perfect if you love food because holy crap. <laughs> that meal has just sealed the deal. This is my favorite food on property. But anyways, guys, hope that you enjoy your stay here at Sapphire Falls if you end up staying here. If you are still looking around, make sure you check out our guide to all the hotels on Universal property, and maybe it'll help you make a decision. But thanks for hanging out, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.